Politics is never simple, and no one knows this better than David Alton. He's a British politician who serves in the House of Lords. He's mostly known for supporting laws that respect the right to life in all its phases. His ideas aren't always welcomed by the mainstream, but during hard times, he says he finds comfort in the words Mother Teresa once told him. Mother Teresa of Calcutta once said to me, you are not called upon to be successful, you are called upon to be faithful. And I think that's the challenge for us who are involved in public and political life. Not to worry about being defeated, it's great when you win as well, but you won't always win. Fighting for human rights is a mission for Alton. He's a chairman for the British Parliamentary Committee on North Korea. He recently visited that country to attend a science and technology conference at the Pyongyang University, which opened about a year ago with help from Christian-based groups. Even though the country is making progress, he says there are still over 300,000 political and religious prisoners. Catholic priests haven't been allowed to minister in the country in over 60 years hunger and poverty is still a dark reality. Back at home, stem cell research is one of his main concerns, especially since animal and human embryos are now being combined for experimental purposes. There are 80 cures worldwide using adult stem cells that do not require the creation of human embryos. So good science and good ethics, where they march in hand, can deliver good cures. But it's unethical to create and then destroy a human embryo. When it comes to speaking out against euthanasia, he says dignity is often confused with convenience. So you end up with, first of all, the right to die becoming a duty to die. And all the financial pressures on things like the National Health Service play into that. You're a bed blocker because you're elderly, because you're sick, because you're disabled. Where is the dignity in that? The politician is also involved in opening an international Christian heritage center in England. He says it fits in perfectly with the speech Benedict XVI gave a year ago in Westminster, where he urged locals to not lose their identity or Christian roots.